What's going on you lot? Welcome back to another brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to be going over my plans for London Film Comic Con this weekend at the Olympia. So stay tuned to see what I'm going to be getting done. That's right, so LFCC is this weekend coming the 11th to the 12th of November. It feels like it's come around really quick, especially as... I had that impromptu MCM a couple of weeks ago, so it's made the jump between the cons feel really short. So I've done three cons in a space of like four or five weeks, which is mad, really. It's just, there's so much going on. There's even uh, For the Love of Horrors on this weekend as well, so I could have gone to that. It's not long until For the Love of Sci-Fi, and the cast for that looks fucking sick as well. So, yeah, it is fully con season and it's freezing but for me lfcc is the biggest one that i have been looking forward to because the guest list out of nowhere in the last month probably has just got bigger and bigger the main guests that show masters have got on their website and the ones that they are promoting the most is paul bettany kit harrington karen gillen ian mcdermid olivia cook Derek Jacobi and Brian Blessed. Now, the variety of these is amazing. Honestly, to see Paul Bettany at a con is big in the UK. Karen Gillan, even any of them on their own is huge. Olivia Cook, obviously, is coming back as she did cancel less than a day before for LFCC summer. But is what it is. At least she's come back straight away for the next one, so to say. But the main one... The biggest one for me that is just the biggest shock is Kit Harrington. So it's his first UK con appearance. And it is mad. It's one that I can't pass up on. So I'm going to talk you through my plans for the weekend now. So I have booked two photo ops um, as a minimum of stuff I'm getting done. So at least I have two things that will definitely get done. So I've got a photo op with Kit Harrington and a photo op with Ian McDermott. As I am a massive Game of Thrones and Star Wars fan. And for those who don't know how the autographs work, my understanding of autographs with LFCC and show masses is that it's all virtual queuing. So you go, in, you go to the queue of the guests you want to see, I think, get a virtual queue ticket, and then you get summoned to come and join the queue and they're ready. So it doesn't overcrowd. I think that's how it works. I might be completely off the mark, but if someone can really dummy it down and explain it for me in the comments i'd really appreciate it so yeah uh, these are the pops i am bringing to get signed if i can i'm just going to bring more than i will actually get i only want to get two things signed but i'm going to bring a couple of fail saves in case queuing is mad so the main one for me i want to get this john snow signs number 80 battle of the bastard sort of gear uh signed by kit harrington i think the pop looks really cool and john snow pops are really cheap i think i only paid seven quid for it something like that so buzzing to have it a cool pop to have whether i get it signed or not but that is my main concern i'm going to get to the con extremely early on the saturday that's something i haven't mentioned actually all the guests that are big really are saturday only which is a bit shit really if you wanted four guests to get signed it would never happen not in a million years so you really have to prioritize uh, and the way that their diamond passes work, it's not just queue skipping, it's diamond pass per person. And I think they're an absolute rip-off. So you're paying for a gift and paying to go and watch them talk. Which I genuinely, I think, is fucking crazy. And just, I think it just fully takes the piss. So if you want to get diamond passes for three guests, you'd be looking at a grand. Or more, basically. And it's just not worth it. It is not worth it. Get there early and get a couple done and hope to see others again. The sort of the way I look at it. Uh, the next pop I'm taking. So I'm not. I was planning to get this signed on Sunday. Is a Nebula pop. I was planning to get this signed by Karen Gillan on Sunday, but but Showmaster has released a schedule for Saturday and Sunday because she was supposed to appear in Sunday and she put an Instagram post out saying I'm only appearing Saturday by the way. So yeah, lots of people kicking off because they've booked stuff for the Sunday, booked Diamond Passes because the Sunday Diamond Pass was a little bit cheaper. And she ain't even there. So there's a lot of people very angry, which is very understandable. Um, so I'm bringing it with me in case the queue in is mad and her queue's not as bad. But I think if anything, it's going to make it worse because she was spread out over two days and now it's just going to be compressed to one. So I'll bring it with me, but I'm not expecting to get it signed. Um, my other priority is getting this Emperor Palpatine signed by Ian McDermott. So Ian McDermott, I've got a photo booked, as I said, but I do really want to get an auto as well. Um, 
yeah, him and Kit are my priority, so I'll stick him next to Kit there. Yeah, those two are my priorities to get done. Really like the pop. I used to have the Holographic Emperor, which I wish I still had, because that one looked really good in like an aqua paint pen. But it is what it is. I really like this one that Funko Euro dropped. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, and the last pop I'm taking with me is an Alison Hightower for Olivia Cook. She is on the cheaper side as far as guests goes. Um, I imagine it's going to be absolutely rammed again for her because you've got people that were coming for LFCC summer and now she's only appearing one day at winter so it's mad I think it's going to be absolutely ramboed on the Saturday and a lot of queuing and a lot of um, yeah there's going to be a lot of people but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the Sunday hope on the Sunday because there's no huge guests really I'm not really planning to do anything I'm tempted to book a photo with Brian Blessed I really want to hear him swear so that would be quite fun um, but yeah that's the only bits that I am planning to get done it's a weird one with Showmasters yeah I've not been to a Showmasters event before so I'm hoping the queuing's alright it's giving me a bit of anxiety just the thought of it to be honest with you so I'm hoping it's not too bad but yeah those are the bits I am taking with me so let me know if you're going it'd be great to bump into people great to see some of the cosplayers from MCM again that was brilliant and yeah, I'll catch you on Sunday for the vlog. Cheers. ta -da. I'm going to be going over my plans for LFCFC. Why oh, can't I fucking say this? Now, today we're going to be going over my plans for LFCCCCC. Fucking hell.